Good morning, everybody. We thank you for joining us on the Pix 11 Morning News. It's <laughs> 26th. I'm John Muller. Good morning. I'm Vanessa Freeman. All right, let's get things started with Marissa Torres. In some spots, waking up at 57 degrees in Monticello, the Hudson Valley in the 60s, mainly 63 over in White Plains. Dew points also early really as humid as it was. 71 in the city as we hang on to the heat just a little bit, or the warmth, I should say. Uh, we'll probably lose a couple of degrees. I'm guilty of striking and killing a Long Island Boy Scout while driving drunk will be sentenced today. Also saw a break with protocol when one cabinet member made an appearance to praise the president's foreign policy efforts. PIX 11's Kirsten Cole is live in the newsroom with all the details. Good morning, Kirsten. Yeah, good morning to you, Vanessa and John. Already we are hearing a lot about Secretary Pompeo's appearance last night. His office saying that no taxpayer funds were used to pay for this appearance, but it comes amidst an official four-day trip to Israel. And after the State Department reportedly warned other staffers to not publicly get involved in political races. But last night, no for Vice President Biden last week. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kirsten Cole, Vanessa John, to you. Kirsten. Jersey Governor Phil Murphy unveiling his spending plan for the state includes several tax increases. What you need to know. Plus. All right, good morning, everybody. We thank you for staying with us on this Wednesday, August 20th. PIX11 has been featuring a local business that's now open and navigating through our new normal. This week we head to Federal and Fair in Westfield, New Jersey, where they turned a statewide shutdown into an opportunity. Andrew on the commute still keeping an eye on that vehicle fire we had reported about an hour ago on the New York State Thruway northbound lanes. The city it's may be considering a change to its new chokehold ban. It was signed into law only a month ago. But now some lawmakers feel parts of this measure may have gone too far. Law enforcement says parts of the ban restricts them from doing their job. Picks it's a huge topic right now and it's another concern as students return to the classroom. A new team has hit the ground running to inspect the ventilation system on those schools. This is really one of the big reasons my producer chose this shot, uh, but the sunrise is a little bit later now and you'll notice it's shining. The school ventilation action teams will be going through and checking city classrooms for proper airflow. They have got to get through 1800 of the city's public schools before, as you mentioned, school starts in 15 days. So they certainly have their work cut out for that. I've submitted applications to allow for that. Live this morning in Williamsburg, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News. The roads hasn't been all that bad if you're going to be driving, especially trying to navigate through the city. We have a live look at the Gowanus. Well, straight ahead, a group of A-list actresses get real about facing discrimination in the workforce because of their hair. Plus, a sanitation worker's fight for himself and his fellow trash men and women getting a lot of attention. The biggest delay. Uh, really across the region. So this is on 95 southbound, several miles of very slow traffic. Old man Jacob Blake is now partially paralyzed, this according to his family. As Blake remains hospitalized, his parents are calling for prayers and for peace. Thousands of others across the country are making sure his story is heard. Officials are all looking into this shooting. Two police officers have since been placed on leave. The Kenosha Professional Police Association is calling on the public to withhold from passing passing judgment until all the facts are known and released. Betty? Boy, that was quite a mm. statement from his mother there. Really, Moving. really touching. Yeah. Thank you.